And I watched a little bit of NBA basketball. I watched some of the, uh, the Boston Celtics. Uh, and, you know, great game there. We fucking won that game. But uh, I, I'll be honest with you, dude. I, I don't even know what the fuck goes on in the NBA anymore. I try to watch it. But uh, I have a theory on what happened to the NBA. All right. Sit down for this one. If you want to hear somebody who was picked last in gym class, tell you, what, <laughs> tell you what's wrong with the NBA. All right. I'm going big on this one. I'm going to say it, all right? Michael Jordan, the greatest basketball player of all time, was also uh, one of the worst things that ever happened to NBA hoop, okay? The same way Eddie Van Halen in 1978 with Van Halen 1 was one of the worst things that ever happened to guitar playing in the 1980s, all right? And basically why I'm saying is when you have somebody of their level of talent, just an absolute genius. They are so far beyond everybody else that when mere mortals interpret what they do, they get it wrong because they are limited by the talent that they were blessed with. So with Eddie Van Halen, I know I've used him as a reference before. So many people that came after him, what they looked at Eddie and they were just like, take guitar solo, play as many notes as you can within whatever, the four bars that you have, and then it just became noise. Blah, 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 blah. The whole fucking... It's some of these fucking guitar solos. I mean, I know these guys could play, but like... You know, it's just like... It's almost like you ever get cornered in a party by some fucking cokehead, and there's, there's no back and forth, there's no conversation, they're just fucking punishing you? Yeah, that's what a lot of those solos were, all right? And before Michael Jordan came along, you had to have a big man to win. You had to feed your big man and blah, 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 and all that shit. And he came in with such a talent. He said, not only do I not need a big man, I'm going to jump over your big man and your fucking power forward. And I'm going to so dominate this game that the rest of my teammates, are are, their nickname is going to be my supporting cast. Now, I know when he started, you know, passing the ball and everything, that's when he started to beat the Pistons. I'm not saying he was just totally doing it himself, but like all these people that came after him grew up, they wanted to be like Mike and they're not Mike, but they're still playing that way. So everybody tried to fucking win and it didn't work. So the fallout of that, I believe, was then the pile on championship team because Michael set the bar at six championships in the modern era. If you wanted to beat Mike or be as good as him, you had to win six. And people just weren't good enough to fucking do it. So they just had the pylon teams. And it started with Kobe and Shaq with the Lakers. And then you had the big three in Boston. And then the Miami fucking Heat. And now you got the, uh, the Golden State Warriors. And if you watch it, I swear to God. And this, this whole fallout of that is you now have the person that's taking it beyond Jordan. Where it's like, not only do I not need my other teammates. I don't even like being coached. So you have somebody out there, you know, people always, oh, dude, he's got like 21 points in the first half. It's like, dude, the only fucking number that matters is the score. We're down by three. I don't give a fuck. He's, he's, this person is, I just see these guys, they turn their team into this one-dimensional attack. It's like this guy is going to try to fucking beat the entire fucking team. Um, and somehow, if you play team basketball like the San Antonio Spurs, nobody pays attention. And I saw this thing on Instagram showing all these big stars that have since retired. And they go, who do you miss the most? And of course, everybody's picking Kobe. I mean, he's probably, I don't know. I would, he's got to be at least the top two one-on-one fucking players of all time. Absolute beast. And then you combine that with his wanting to win and all of that shit. However, sitting right in the middle and nobody talking about him was fucking Tim Duncan. And I might just be an old fucking asshole here, but I, what I liked about Tim Duncan is Tim Duncan could win with anybody where I felt like Kobe could win, but he needed everybody. He needed like a zillion fucking free agents every fucking year, it seemed. They would just, every three years, they would clean house and he would get a fresh batch of some of the best people in the NBA to play with. Um, I don't know. So when I watch the fucking game now, I... I'll tell you, when you got a player his caliber, you know he's going to have to get his touches. It's like, dude, fuck his touches. I was watching the game last night, okay? And uh, what's his face? Reggie Miller. We go into the fourth quarter. I think we were up by like two points. He goes, you know, for the, you know, the rest of this game is going to be all Kyrie. 
Now, maybe he was saying passing the ball or whatever, too, but I don't know. I just hear that all the time. And, I, dude, it makes me feel so old. I'm, I sit there yelling at the TV like, Reggie, you don't believe that? <laughs> you didn't play that kind of ball. Even when you were fucking destroying the Knicks, you still knew you had to play team ball. I don't, I don't know. Whatever. Okay, I'm done with my old man rant. All right, but I think that that's, that is basically, you know, like I said, I'm done and I'm still going to go here. I think that that's what's happened with basketball. And for an old guy like me, that's why I don't get it when I'm watching it. I'm like, oh, my God. They're down by 10, and that guy came down the court, didn't pass it, and just launched a three and threw up a fucking brick. They're going to call a timeout and put him on the bench, and they don't. It's just how it's played now. So, But what I will say, there are things that are way better, okay, before I'm I'm that fucking asshole, you know, giving you the global warming speech about professional sports. Um, In no time in basketball have there ever been this many people over the height of 6'10 that can hit a fucking three-pointer. Like a guard. I mean, it's, it's fucking unbelievable. So there are, whatever. There are, there are better things. Um, I will tell you, though, uh, NHL has changed a lot since I was a kid. And I actually, I like, I mean, I miss the fights. 